Lynn. Thanksgiving is just over two weeks away and we want to help you get ready for an amazing feast. So we are joined today by award-winning pit master Andrew Darneal, owner of Clarendon's award-winning Smokecraft Modern Barbecue. We're talking all things Thanksgiving. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. All right, for somebody that hasn't been to Smokecraft before, what's what's the vibe? What's the food? Sure. I mean, getting? we're modern barbecue and I define modern barbecue as continuing to evolve what barbecue is and can be. Uh, my only rules about our food at Smokecraft is it has to be touched by fire or smoke. And ah. once, once we do that, we enter the world of barbecue and it gives me a lot of flexibility to do a lot of really fun things. Okay. That's Even awesome. the turkey can be touched by fire and smoke. The turkey's <laughs> got to be smoked. This is the best way to cook a turkey this Thanksgiving and, and I can't wait to share how to do it with you. Yeah. Well, speaking of Thanksgiving, we want all the tips. So what are your overall great tips for Thanksgiving prep? Biggest uh, thing for Thanksgiving, make sure you plan ahead. You know, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time to put together a great meal. Your turkey's going to be frozen at the grocery store. It's going to take almost a week to thaw if you do it at home yourself. Uh -huh. So make sure you guys are planning ahead and thinking about everything so you're not scrambling the morning of and always allow extra time because everything always goes wrong. <laughs> the easier thing is you could just order all of this and pick it up, right? Because you're making it for everybody. Let but me do the work for you. I'm cooking 250 like turkeys that. this year. I'd be happy oh to make your gosh. turkey for you. So please make me do the work. I'd love <laughs> to have it. All right. How do we prep the turkey? What's your advice? All right. So here we got ourselves a 12, 14 pound turkey. This is the ideal uh, weight for smoking a turkey. If you get something too big, um, it won't cook all the way through the inside or it'll get too smoky on the outside. So 12, okay. 14 pounders is what I like to smoke and what I've done here we've thawed this turkey out and we're gonna we've emptied out the cavity mm -hmm. and what I want you to do here is take some of the rosemary and thyme throw it in the bottom here and then we're gonna stuff this turkey with some yellow onion some oranges some carrots some celery kind of a mirror like yeah go ahead I've already quartered them so make it really easy so grab a couple and then throw a couple oranges in there Orange. yeah oranges, oranges okay. are gonna add that little bit of citrus a little bit of moisture inside of it the carrots and celery and onions this is a mirror mm. this is this is key to any great stock so this is going to uh, help get a lot of moisture inside and then the drippings are going to have a lot of really great flavor mm -hmm. that come out. We don't want to stuff this with actual stuffing because we do want air to get through here. Um, we do want moisture to get through here and if you put something that's solid, you're not going to get that heat, you know, that smoke and everything. It's going to be too much or too little. And, that's a great tip because I know a lot of people do that. So maybe they should consider this kind of. This is going to make a better turkey okay. and then you can put the stuffing on the side and that way if you have a vegetarian at the table as well, you haven't wrecked it for them. Oh, so good so point. it's something that's it's by stuffing the turkey and then at the end here I always just tie it all up and just take a string and tie it up at the end just to hold it all in because the legs are going to want to come out um, you know as as uh, you cook it so mm -hmm. we just tie it together hold it tight and then this the last thing we're going to do I want you to go ahead and rub this thing down and we're going to just take your favorite rub and you're going to shake it evenly on top you don't actually want to rub it into the turkey because you're going to wreck the presentation and you're not going to mm -hmm. get that even flavor um, that you want with it so we're going to just let it sit like this ready to go for 30 minutes let it get in and then before you put it in the uh, smoker just spray it with a little uh, liquid butter or canola oil okay. and then at the end of the day two hours two and a half hours later voila this is what we end up with right here so just gorgeous two and a half looking hours. birds well well i guess it depends on the, how many pounds your turkey it is does too, right? depend on your yeah, absolutely so these are smaller birds but it you know it depends on your size i cook and the smoker at 275 degrees getting that nice uh you know try and get a convection smoke going uh, with whatever type of smoke you have your internal temperature on your whole bird when you take it out you want to pull it at 160 degrees, not 165, 160, because it's going to continue to carry over. Right. And you want to make sure that you don't okay. overcook it and make sure you still have a really nice, moist, tender bird once all said and done. But at the end here, we get this really great final product. And uh, let's let's just cut into what we got here and, 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 and see what we got here. And while we, you're cutting that, I see like sweet potatoes. You got what, smoked cauliflower? I have wow. some smoked cauliflower. I did so some mac and cheese. Um, the sweet potatoes have a hint of bourbon with some uh, maker's mark in them. Oh, so, wow. you know, so Mm -hmm. Little candy pecans on top, so you get all kinds of great options. But I mean, look at this. This is this is really nice and tender it's, it's and moist. So tender. So um, thank you, Chef. It yeah. looks tender. I didn't I even taste it. It just does. Well, that's why yeah. I have to give you a piece yeah. okay. to let you try it. Thank you, you know? very much. Thank you very much. All right, Smokecraft Modern Barbecue is in the Clarendon neighborhood in Arlington, Virginia. You can get all of this for th your Thanksgiving feast. So check them out at SmokecraftBBQ.com.